Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make your, your created character's face look better when you're using the face scan photo. So you don't have like the weird blurry edges. I also included how I edited the picture if you want to see that. It's at the end of the video. First you're going to go get your picture, download it. I have two here for some reason. but. Uh, then you're going to go back, you're going to create your superstar, or you can even go in your My Player. And once it pops up, you're going to go to the face capture thing, pick your picture. <clears throat> then you're going to line it up. I just pretty much line it up with the mouth and make it, you know, the size to where the mouth and the nose are pretty even. And then the eyes can kind of, they're a little off, but you can move it later might take you a few tries to get it in the right spot. You just kind of got to wiggle it around until it's there. That looks, that looks pretty good. Right about there. Just kind of shrink the, the size down until it looks about right. Um, I wouldn't really, because I, I edited out the rest of the photo, I wouldn't pay attention to the face just kind of look at the character until you think it looks pretty good go to the region facial region part and kind of move those around to be more in line with the eyes and stuff the eyebrows I wouldn't really follow the eyebrows exactly because the makes your whenever you get to the end they, they look kind of weird sometimes so I just kind of basically line them up and then everything else I put where it goes and then um, follow the outlines and then on the the main outline around the outside of the face I kind of like lined it up with my chin and then kind of on the cheeks I basically lined it up but then just look at it and so sometimes it looks a little weird and then same with the top of the head you just kind of gotta look at it and move it until it looks right don't actually follow the face picture Unless you have your whole head in the picture, I guess. And then I ended up with something that looks like this. So you see the big white outline? We're going to get rid of that now. You're just going to have to back out of here. <clears throat> go to the main menu. Go to Options. Deletion Utility. Scroll down until you find your face. I have a lot of other downloaded stuff, so it took me a minute to find it. Um, and then you just select it. I had more than one for some reason, probably because I had already made it once. And then you delete them. You pop up and ask if you want to make sure you do that. And then it's in use, but it doesn't matter. You just go back to the, the creation superstar. You go to edit. He's going to have like an exclamation mark on his face, but that's okay. And once it pops up, as you can see, it looks a lot better. It pretty much looks like the picture, but it doesn't have the stupid outline around it. <clears throat> um, then you just go, you know, go and customize it how you normally would with, you know, clothes and whatever. Once you put hair on it, obviously it'll look a lot better. Unless you want to be bald, unless you're bald, I guess. Let's see, looks more like it's supposed to be in the game instead of it's just like kind of there. Then there's only one more thing you, to do. You just go and you um, pick his attire, you put him in an Elvis suit. And then you change it to white and then you change the other parts to blue because that's just how you that's the only way to make it work all right so now I'm gonna show you what I did to my picture um, you don't necessarily have to do this because you're gonna delete it anyway but this is how I edited my picture to make it look better you're gonna open Photoshop click the image canvas size change it to 512 by 512 because it has to be square then you just put your picture in the canvas. Um, since I had already done, already done this once, it was already the right size. 
but I just make it the size to where your head is in the middle. Then you're going to use the little selecting oval tool, select your face with it, like so. Get it around the whole face. Then you're going to hit select and select inverse. Inverse. You click the eraser, click somewhere on it, this little message will pop up, just click OK. Then you can hit delete. And then you're going to get the square tool, select tool. Select half your face, the side that looks better, the side that's brighter. See how this one side is kind of shadowed? You want the side that's brighter. Then you're going to copy it. Once you get it in the right spot, go to edit, copy. Then you're going to click image, image rotation, and flip it horizontally. And then you're going to paste the other picture in there. Line it up. And on the side where your layers are, you're going to click shift and click both of them and then merge layers. And on the other side, you're going to click the little teardrop thing, the blur tool. And I'm going to make this thing smaller. And just blur out the weird line in the middle of your face. Blur around the edges of the picture all the way around. And you're going to uh, use the little wand tool to click the outside edge. Then you click select, click inverse, click the little dropper thing, get some color skin, paintbrush, and then you're just going to color out your hair. And then that's basically it. Your picture is ready to go. You save it. And you go to the little website and you do the stuff I showed you at the beginning of the video.